Before you watch this video, please make sure you subscribe, like the video, and press the notification button so that you do not miss another video from this channel. As tributes flooded in from across the country, the family announced a two-week period of royal mourning. But in a move that typifies the Queen's deep sense of duty, the monarch, 94, returned to work before the funeral which is due to take place on Friday. Queen Elizabeth II has shown deep sense of duty and commitment by returning to work just days after her husband of 73 years Prince Philip. The Duke of Edinburgh died at their home in Windsor Cast at the age of 99, just two months before his 100th birthday. The Queen returned to work today as she hosted a retirement ceremony for William Peel, who retired after serving for 14 years as former Lord Chamberlain Earl, the most senior aide in the royal household. Until recently, Peel was responsible for organizing the funeral of Prince Philip, known as Operation Fort Bridge and those responsibilities have been taken over by his successor, Andrew Parker the former head of MI5, Britain's domestic spy agency. Parker started his new position on 1 April, a week before the prince passed away. The funeral will take place on Saturday at St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle which accommodates 800 people, but on 30 will attend. Queen Elizabeth may have to sit alone at the funeral as the government rules state that those in attendance must stay six and a half feet away from anyone who is not on their household or support bubbles. All mourners are also required to wear a mask. Please let us know what you think about the Queen return to royal duties before her husband's funeral. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and press the notification button so that you do not miss another video. Thank you. Bye.